Hello, today we're going to be talking about Google Sheets. I know we discuss a lot about staying organized as an artist. And so Excel and uh, having spreadsheets is one of the best ways to stay organized, I've found. So I like Google Drive. Um, it's just my preference. So that's what I'm going to be showing you. So um, this is my drive. You can click New down to Spreadsheets, Google Sheets, say Create New, Blank Spreadsheet. But today we're going to be looking at one of the spreadsheets that I've set up already. Um, so here are just some of the basics if, uh, if you're not familiar with Google Drive. Up here at the top, we have the name. So you can change the name. You can say um, this one is the Art KPI, the Key Performance Indicators, so that we know uh, what we're doing with with our career um and so you could say jack's kpi but we're gonna say art kpi all right next um name at the top also at the top you have these columns so um on the right you can share and that is another important one um then we have our menu bar we have file with anything from open to make a copy um we have edit uh, view, and all of that good stuff. Then we have some of the more specific things for fonts and uh, and the more complicated areas that we're not going to get into, but I like to just uh, concentrate on um, this is your font, this is your font size, this is bold, um, this is to change the color of your text, and this is to change the fill color of the background. So we see here the fill color is yellow. Um, and so this is set up like uh, um, lots of little columns and lots of little rows. So the columns are the vertical and the rows are the horizontal. Um, this is uh, the first column. It is the year. So that's important to note um, is, uh, is that, you know, we can have the year, we can do work sold. We have our in exhibitions. We have any successes that we've had, um, things like that. The other thing that's important is on the bottom here, we have our little uh, sheets. So these are different pages within the um, spreadsheet. So we have one for, so this was 2021. This is 2022. This is 2023. So next year, you'll create another one. You do add and you do 2024. And that'll be for next year. And there it is. That'll be for next year. And so then what you can do is you can copy and paste from here. Um, the best way to copy a whole document is to go to the upper left-hand corner. Um, you click on that box in the upper left-hand corner. You do copy, um, hotkey copy, do the same here, and hotkey paste. All right. If you messed up and you want to get rid of that sheet on the bottom, you can right-click and tell it to delete. Heads up, you're going to delete an entire sheet. Yes. All right. Um, what else do we have? So columns, rows, you can edit rows. So this is a very important thing. Um, let's say you fill up all of your uh, work sold. So yay, I sold a bunch of works. Um, so you click on it, you write down uh, like painting number three, Click again, inventory number. I like it to, you know, stay real organized. So all of these things I fill out. Um, oh, here's another good tip. Uh, painting number three. So you can click on the cell. This is called a cell. Click on the cell and fill it out. But then up here, up on the top area, um, is where you can also type in. So you don't have to type in on the cell. You can also type in uh, uh, in here. This is called the formula zone or that's what i'm going to call it right now all right so let's say you filled this out you want to actually add another row on top of here so go to the seven and right click and then insert one row above and that adds a row up there another nice trick is you can go and highlight four different rows and you click on the top one and it says insert four rows above so that's a way to give yourself a lot more space to work with um what's next next we have let's say highlighting 
Um, so this is highlighted in yellow. Let's say you don't like that. You go up to the top. Um, if you click on the one, it highlights the whole row. If you just click on the um, the cell, it'll only highlight the cell. So let's say I want to change that cell back to white. So I go up here, change the cell, and you click on the um, highlight color as white. If you wanted to change the whole row, you do the same thing. You click on the row and you change the whole row to yellow. Um, the same thing can be done with uh, the color. So you click on the row and this A up here is the text color. So you can change that back to black or red or whatever your, um, your way of organizing is. All right, next we can have grouping rows. Let's say I wanted to group these two rows. Um, these are the, the exhibitions that I've had. Uh, I don't really do this in this spreadsheet, but it's a good, good tip to have. So you click on the rows that you want to group. You do view, right click, view more rows and actions. And then it can say group rows 19 and 20. And it makes a little group for them and then you can collapse it. So then this is another way to easily stay organized um, and be able to collapse and expand. You know, if you have, let's say you have 30 paintings and you don't want to scroll through them all, you can group them and then expand them when you need to go through those 30 paintings. So I'm going to right click here and remove the group. All right, next we have um, freezing rows. I find this very interesting and useful. Um, so number five, so let's say you want to really concentrate on these works sold. So you can go to number five, click on the whole row, and then view up here and freeze one row. And so then when you're, oops, I didn't, ba, ba, ba. let's see, freeze one row, and it didn't really work because uh, this row is frozen. All right, so the 2023 is the frozen row right now. Um, so you click up here, row, view, freeze, one row, and now the 2023 is frozen. And so as you go down, you know that it's 2023. All right. Uh, next up, an interesting thing is wrapping. So in um, these spreadsheets, let's say you keep typing. So this is a great painting. All right, so you see how it's now it's cut off. So if actually, if you didn't have this cell filled in, it would not be as cut off. But because we have that cell filled in, we don't actually see the rest of this text unless we click on it. So one trick is to click on the cell you want to expand on, um, format, go down to wrapping, and go to wrap. And so that expands it and it makes the text fit within the cell confines. Another thing you can do is go to up here um, where it says A, B, C, D, E. These are all your columns. So if you hover in the middle of your column, you can also expand it. Um, so then you can see more. All right. I'm just going to remove that. And then, um, you know, there's the usual copy and paste. So control C and then paste it. So you can copy and paste stuff. Um, and there's a find function. So you can look for things. Um, and then it's not really useful here. It'll be more useful in some of your spreadsheets with, uh, with lots of names when you're organizing your VIPs or your outreach. But you can go here, and next to all these columns is a little arrow. And they say insert column. They have all these options. But this sort sheet A to Z. So that, if you click on this, it shorts, sorts it from A to Z. So applications, art forum, B, big museum. So this makes things a little more confusing here. But if you're organizing a bunch of names, it's uh, going to be very useful. And that is it.
So thank you for joining me. You can go to the Creative Lattice website, www.creativelattice.com, and I have all of these um, of operations and organizational spreadsheets and templates just waiting for you. All right, thanks. Bye.